YouTube, how the devil are you doing? It's Cool King checking in again. On behalf of the DC Cooperative, I hope that you are fine and dandy. So today we're going to take a look at the key beaner from Fortress Arms. So without further ado, let's take a look. So this is another key holder. This one, as I say, is called the key beaner from Fortress Arms. Obvious reasons as why it's the key beaner, because it has a carabiner and it holds keys. It does have a few other features as well that we'll uh, just go through quickly. We've got a 10 mil wrench there. We'll come down to a 3 8 wrench down here. And then these down the side here range from 1 8 3 16 quarter and 5 16 or 8 millimeter wrench down the side there. We have the quarter bit screw head just in there. We've got a bottle opener just there. We've got the flathead screwdriver, pry bar sort of thing at the bottom down here. And then we've got a couple of lanyard holes. Uh, as well. This is the aluminium version. This is roughly $35 on their US website. They are available from Heine Haynes in the UK as well. They come in a, a range of materials as per pretty much everything in EDC these days. Copper, titanium, brass, obviously they go up in price. I think the titanium is about $90. This is something that I've used for many years i think i got this in 2015 maybe 2016 i've used it for every day pretty much since really it's only recently where i've stopped using it because i don't uh, need to have various sets of keys for things you can probably just about make out of the bottom there that's quite worn because i used to have my car key hanging from there on something similar to the key bar magnets so they weren't these what i had just so i'd have my car key hanging down from the bottom i did only have two keys in this it's all i needed on this but it's perfect to clip onto something and know exactly where it was in the packet this is the packet that um, i got all them years ago it tells you the how to use it and you do get a number of screws as well so you can have more keys or less keys in than you wish. The ones that I've got in it are the shortest screws that they come with. It holds up to 14 keys quite nicely. I've never had to do that. So I'm going to show you how we use it. Again, it's just a matter of unscrewing, sliding that bar off at the top. There are two washers there. So I'm going to take one of the washers off, try and do this cheating slightly. I've got a key, put the key in, put the washer back, slide the arm back over, give it a bit of play and again tighten that up. And there we've got one key in there, nice and tidy. In hindsight, I probably should have done it the other way around, but you get the idea. Your orientation might be totally different from how I would have it. Do the same with the other end. Take one washer off, another key. I'm going to have it so that the key grooves, teeth, whatever you call it, are facing each other. And again, slide that over, lining it up. Give it a quick tighten. And there we go. We've got two keys in the key beaner, nice and safe. We can get that out there or... As I say, if I'd done that the other way around, it'd probably made it a bit easier, but we can get that out there as well. So there we have it. That's the key beaner from Fortress Arms. It is something that I've used for, for many years, as I say. I do like it. It is something that um, I would carry on using if I had the, the need to do so. Unfortunately, I haven't at the moment, but I will be keeping it just in case uh, that day arises again. Again, it's one of them things... That if this would fit into your EDC, I don't know. This is just to show you what it does, how it works, and obviously the, the features that you can have. Possible carry options, clipping it onto uh, a tack vest, onto a bag or inside a bag, quite easy. If you've got spare keys and you know it's just something nice, it's very minimal, it doesn't take up any space, clip it on a belt loop, stick it in your pocket if you want, whatever. Uh, it is quite a nice sort of thing to, to grip as well for putting the key in and turning the key. Yeah, there you go. Got any questions about the key beaner? Put them down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I will link up here to the key videos where we've done quite a few different videos on various key related items. Thanks. See you on the next one.